आखिर हूं यहां मैं किसके लिए मेरा यहां अगर कोई नहीं तबस्सुमे लब देखते हैं सब जख्मी जिगर कोई नहीं एक सदा बस दूर हूं सबसे सबका हूं गमखार में लेकिन मेरा कोई गमखार नहीं है मुझको मैसर कोई नहीं जहां ये मेरा सर न झुका हो जहां बहे मेरे अश्क न हो जहां मेरी फरियाद न गूंजे ऐसा यहां दर कोई नहीं मेरा पता बस इतना समझो ये जो कतार में घर है चरागा इन में से इन जैसे घरों में से मेरा घर कोई नहीं Kashmir is one of the most beautiful places on earth for the reason why it's called as the paradise on earth and it's a poetry in its own way uh from beautiful snow covered mountains to the shikara on the dal from incredible summer sun to golden chinar of fall from the you know uh that what you say the delicacy of the saffron to the vibrant colors of tulips The first time I realized that I really love photography was when I took a picture with my dad's phone and he saw it and he really appreciated it. He was like it's a really good picture and then my mom saw it and I just got really encouraged with it and I started taking pictures with my phone. Like I used to go out every single day in my garden or like I used to find leaves, I used to find flowers to take pictures of every single day and um that's when I decided that I wanted a camera for myself and that's that how it began i mostly think about whenever i think about my work it mostly elicits like happiness and i'm kind of pr- proud of myself because when you scroll through my instagram feed all the photos that i've clicked you can see that i've improved uh, at least i can see it but um i always get like really happy whenever i see all those pictures and i want to get better with time obviously but that just means that i just love photography that much so when me and my sister went to a shrine magdum sab shrine and uh, we particularly went there to pray for a, for someone who was actually sick in our family and uh, when i was done with my prayer i just saw my sister she was crying and she was praying and i just thought it was a really beautiful moment so i decided to capture it i tried to show the beauty of kashmir in a lot of ways in my pictures as i said i really want to capture the culture and the people more i don't have a lot of photos like that but i really want to so that people see how li- how kashmiri people live and what their culture is like and their day to day life i really want to capture all of that the old town and all all that it's really beautiful and i want to can do uh, want to capture the beauty of that so i'm looking forward to doing that i was a very reserved kind of a person mujhe kafi dikkat hoti thi friends banane mein i was a shy person and uh, then i found uh, you know i started scribbling i started with scribbling on walls scri- scribbling on papers dresses banana princesses draw karna you know whatever makes you feel happy food cartoons and that's actually how it started because uh, this was uh, the way i could you know express myself and it made me happy i moved to i started with traditional art like you know basically what you uh, when you draw with your brushes and pen and then uh, with time you know over time then i moved to um, this another form of art which is digital medium which is the modern form of art and now i'm like continuing with it only my work is what defines me uh, it makes me feel whole and a better version of myself every single time i create something for me it's not just mere scribbling of illustrations but you know putting my emotions my subconscious thoughts uh, out we can say it uh, helps me give went to my uh, uh, my feelings and express myself uh, better before others so it's more of a personal thing to me than just my work uh i can't go for more than a week without you know creating something uh, 
सो या इट हेल्प्स मी मेंटेन दैट इक्विलिब्रम इन माय लाइफ एंड यू नो एवरी वन ऑफ अस नीड वन ऑफ दी अदर क्रिएट हुआ लाइक सम गो फॉर पोइट्री फॉर मी इट्स इट्स आर्ट या एंड आई कैन इमेजिन माय लाइफ विदाउट आर्ट आई फील अ सेंस ऑफ पीस एंड फ्रीडम पीस बिकॉज पीस इज इन दर्ट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ ब्लैंक पेज कैन मीन एंडलेस पॉसिबिलिटीज and when i turn it into something that means a lot more to me it gives me a lot of peace and freedom because i feel like i can express myself fully and i can show my art to anyone but it will always be my little secret i I was in school when I discovered that I could sing. I didn't discover it myself, but my teachers and my classmates did. Uh, the songwriting part came a lot later. Once I started writing poetry back in 2010. Uh, after a few years, I re- I really thought that the things that I've written, I can actually compose them and I can sing the same. Uh, that's when I became a singer-songwriter around. Uh, 2012 13 the filmmaking part it's been just it's been just two and a half years back in 2019 when i finished my uh, graduation in bangalore and i came home i wanted to do something in terms of visual art and uh, i found somebody who actually believed in me and told me that if you have written this particular story you can actually uh, film it you can direct it I had no clue about what direction was but then I was guided in a nice way and ever since there's there's no looking back I've been making films every month Horum mein se dim mein badal jana na Vadan nahi chus bupanas mere in mujhe Vadan chus ami ban kas roza nazar ko chus mere in mujhe I think my work mostly talks about pain. It talks about the dark side. I have not done any of the works which would actually give you happiness. People do anything and everything to make themselves happy, but uh, in order to make them empathize with something, th- there's very less content. There's very very less art that comes out. so i think that would be it so i don't see language as a barrier i think i i think in english and uh, i like to narrate in urdu and kashmiri is the mother tongue of course so i believe if you use all the languages to tell people what you think and to tell people what you feel i think it's better uh, because you are targeting a bigger audience audience that understands and listens to english the ones who use kashmiri or urdu as a medium uh i have been trying to put my, get my hands on some persian literature if i learn the language i would i would go uh, ahead with writing something in persian as well so i think language has never stopped me in doing whatever i am doing I mean yeah in music there are no boundaries you're not limited to anything uh, you know there is no uh, there is no language that is why i believe it's so powerful i mean a note can speak to you a uh, composition can speak to you production can speak to you uh, because those are your thoughts as well you are putting in your emotions and you're putting in your touch that is why music is so powerful that it can really change something and it took me a lot of time to realize that but at the end of the day i 
got to this conclusion that i have to be responsible with my words and i have to do something i have to con- convey a message uh, across and i have to talk about the reality at the end of the day and uh, it's really difficult uh, in a society that we live in uh, the, which is heavily censored and there is a lot of surveillance uh, i've been able to do so much in such a short period of time i believe and uh, a lot of it uh, has to do with faith and a lot of it has to do with perseverance and uh, believing in uh, what i was writing and what i was making to be so impactful so that it doesn't allow uh, people to you know um, think of anything else my album basically is uh, mostly about mental health um, back there and uh, everything that comes along with it you know it's 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 personal it's about uh, trauma it's about ptsd in totality uh, 10 tracks 10 songs each and every song connects saladin is quite nice it's about uh, islamophobia and the ongoing uh, muslim hate uh, that we get to see there is another track uh, dazan which is basically more focused on our society and the uh, ills and the uh, problems that we all have as a community and me trying to reflect that and uh, there is another song called id which is uh, about uh, you know people who don't live there asking you about your identification and trying to tell you and trying to order things on you kya hi karte bande hum logo ki awaaz aur milta hasad hai kyun itni nafrat hai kyun pucho fitrat se we have been pretty consistent uh, when it comes to what we were trying to achieve with our music and uh, there's been a small change in my eyes it's not that big it's it's small but i can live with that i mean that for me is enough even if i can change one perspective which is like quite ignorant uh, as to what all is happening around us i mean that is that is all it takes and i believe that i i don't i i have never claimed that i'm here to you know change this or change that but i want my music to you know be a message uh, be a statement and be a part of knowledge as well so yeah that's why i feel like music uh, is a language of its own i think the music scenario in kashmir is growing day by day um it's been a few years it's been booming i think it's it's going in the right direction uh different kinds of music genres are coming out and new artists are coming out every day uh, of course we did have the old ones and they are inspiring the new ones every day i talk to a lot of people who come to me uh, for this sake they want to make new music they want to learn how to write lyrics uh great voices beautiful minds i think uh if they want to express themselves they find music uh is the best way to do that i do have a lot of favorite uh singer songwriters in kashmir uh the first one i would say is fazan shaukat very low key but then a beautiful mind a music producer himself ali saifuddin jawar abdal uh, zisha navi and a lot of other people who have been doing so much for the music scene you know? and of course uh from the hip hop culture we have ahmar we have mc cash we have sx r and sos and a lot of people who are friends now um i think they've been contributing a lot to the music scenario here in kashmir and it's it's going great and it will bloom and it will uh do how it should do actually 
in 2019-2020, uh, the state of uh, how Kashmiri hip hop and the culture of hip hop was has completely shifted and it has grown quite a lot, which is really motivating. In Kashmir, there are not many opportunities, and uh, it's good to see when a when an opportunity pops up because that for us is it it means a lot for 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 a musician over there you know to get at least one opportunity and uh, in terms of people noticing it has also changed quite a lot because the audience has also been listening to hip hop music and they also know what all goes into making hip hop music so it is growing all over uh, and uh, i'm really happy about that uh give it an artistic version uh so i uh talked to my friends uh on uh, you know my uh, friends which i have made on internet who are uh, who belong to the same field of art and not just art i had invited so many people other than just artists there were crafters there were uh, uh you know other self taught artists as well uh so i talked to them and they come mari baat ho gayi then ke let's not uh, let why not the just you know uh come up with a video in compilation where we can showcase our work all together hum we felt very motivated because there were uh, so many of my friends which are actually good at their work and uh, you know uh, uh they were not really recognized by the people like unka kaam जो काफ़ी ज़्यादा अच्छा कर रहे हैं इन फील्ड बट यू नो बहुत सारे लोगों को उनके बारे में नहीं पता सो इट काइंड ऑफ गेव अस्ट बूस्ट आफ्टर दैट वी थॉट लाइक लेट्स नो लेट्स वाई डोंट वी यू नो स्टार्ट मेकिंग वीडियोस ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स जब हम हर एक फेज ऑफ कश्मीर हर एक साइड ऑफ कश्मीर शो करेंगे फ्रॉम आर्किटेक्चर टू फूड टू जो हमारा कल्चर है uh, हमारा ड्रेस कोड हमारा हैंडी क्राफ्ट में कान कम आता है कालीन बाफ आता है एंड म्यूज़िक रबाब ये सब और बहुत सारी चीज़ें जो भी कश्मीर की जैसे सीनिक ब्यूटी और क्या बता सकते हैं हम जैसे आर्ट एंड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आल्सो हमने ये सारी चीज़ें पुट इन करने की कोशिश की थी दैट सिंगल वीडियो और इसके बाद ये वाली वीडियो अपलोड करने के बाद भी काफ़ी ज़्यादा अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स मिला देन वी थॉट लाइक वी शुड कंटिन्यू विद दिस एक्चुअली बिकॉज क्योंकि नॉट जस्ट इट वाज हेल्पिंग अस टू शो केस आ वर्क बट हम एक uh, एक अच्छे से उसको चैनलाइज कर पा रहे थे और हमारा जो ऑल टुगेदर एक एफर्ट था वो उसका एक बेटर आउटकम आ रहा था आफ्टर दैट वी ऑल्सो मेड अ वीडियो वेर वी वर शोइंग पीपल दैट हाउ दे कैन क्रिएट समथिंग यूजफुल आउट ऑफ वेस्ट एंड इट वेंट ऑन दैट वे and this actually that was a group of female artists uh, freelancers we ke- we kept on ad- adding other people other artists other freelancers other self taught artists as well and this whatsapp group later formed a female community which we call manun zanun because uh, hamare group mein uh, alhamdulillah uh, आपस में जितने भी हम फीमेल मेंबर्स हैं हमारी वही टाइम एक नॉट जस्ट अच्छी बॉन्डिंग हुई नॉट जस्ट दे आर वेरी हेल्पफुल बट वेन एवर इट कम्स टू यू नो हेल्पिंग एनी वन या समबडी नीड्स अ सजेशन और वट एवर वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम और एनी थिंग तो हमारी जो आपस में वो एक बॉन्डिंग एक जो वो हमारी कोऑर्डिनेशन है या कशप वनान अक्स बेकिस मानुन जानुन वो हमारे ग्रुप में है काफ़ी अच्छा अलहमद ला ड्यू टू दैट ओनली वी गेव दिस टाइटल टू आर दिस फीमेल कम्युनिटी ऑफ आर्टिस्ट मानन जानिया दैट्स हाउ इट एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड द बिगेस्ट टेक अवे फ्रॉम माय वर्क फॉर पीपल लिविंग आउटसाइड कश्मीर इज दैट आई वांट पीपल to know how culturally rich our kashmir is and uh, how talented and uh, passionate people are towards their work and i actually want people to see kashmir for what it truly is behind the political curtain what take away would you want people from outside kashmir to take from your work obviously i want people to like the photos that i take but 
I would like for them to like the people, love the people as as much as they love the land. That's why I said I want to take pictures of Kashmiri people and the culture and a lot of other things. There's no place in this world which is as painfully beautiful as Kashmir is. You can take all the scenarios into consideration: the landscape, the beauty, the warmth of people, the harmony they live in, and uh, of course the conflict. When you see your homeland burning, it does inspire you in ways that you don't want to be inspired, but yeah, it does. So, I would say my source of inspiration is my motherland and the people here. The story of Kashmir uh, inspires me in many ways because it's the story of me. It's the story of all the people who live there. Uh, it's a reflection of. Um, who we are and uh, it's all about uh, perseverance i feel it's all about never giving up uh, trying to find hope you know uh, it's traumatic as well uh, and uh, it's stressful it's depressing and uh, i feel like now that uh, we see what all is happening in kashmir we can tell that is the state of mind of uh, almost everyone over there even kids because that is what uh, living in a war zone would do to people तुम ख्वाब सा एक गुमान हो रंजिशों से दरअसल आजाद हो करबला जैसा हाल हो पर वो फितरत तुम इंसान हो रूह की तलाश पर थोड़ा इंतजार हो वादी का कारीगर मानो फनकार हो जैसे कोई राज हो खास हो बेघरों के दिल के पास हो कसम से सास हो नाज हो तुम कैद में भी आजाद हो कश्मीर Thank you for tuning into today's episode. We hope you enjoyed diving into the artistic community of Kashmir. If you would like to know more about the work of the artists we interviewed, you will find their details in the description below. For more content like this, please subscribe to She the Docu series and stay tuned for another episode on Kashmir.